Hello. Today we're going to be talking about how to design an implant restoration. We have two options. You can design full contour, or which they call screw retained, or you can design it in a split mode where you have a custom abutment and then a cement retained crown on top of that. So I have a cast already poured up with tissue moulage in pink with a Nobel BioCare Replace Select Implant 5.0, which is blue. And we're going to show you how to do a full contoured restoration. We'll go through all of that. And then after we're done with that, we'll go ahead and do the same thing, but show you how to split the restoration so that you will have a custom abutment and cement retained crown. So what you're going to need is obviously a cast that's been poured with tissue moulage. You're then going to have to get the correct tie base kit. Um, the nice thing about the tie base kit, it has the, uh, the type of implant, the size of the implant um, on the case. So since we're doing a Nobel BioCare Replace Select, we need to need an MBRS 5.0. They make long and short, and so this one has an L. And you'll see right there, 5.0L. In the kit, it comes with the tie base sleeve and a abutment screw. I suggest that you get a lab screw when you do this and set aside the set screw. They used to uh, also bring in the scan bodies that went with the tie base, but for some reason the manufacturer no longer supplies that. So you're gonna have to get a bulk order of scan bodies. They're basically a one-time use if you use them intraorally. If you use them in the lab, we can go ahead and reuse them without a problem. But since we didn't have one, we had to go borrow one from the lab. So I'm gonna show you how to place that on the cast for the scan. 